land of the Bible, the plains. As you can see, much of the plains along the coast of the Mediterranean are very flat and very fertile. We're going to be looking at three the coastal plain, the plain of Jezreel, and the much smaller Hule Valley. The coastal plain, as this helicopter shot shows, still has the major north south route running along it. And as this shot shows, it is pretty flat. And because it's pretty flat, what rivers there are wind slowly across the plain to the sea. And so the moisture is retained and available f to keep the ground fertile through much of the year, although none of the streams runs all the year round. Thus, the plains, and in particular the coastal plain, are the kind of breadbasket of the region. Most of the grain is grown there, and many of the other crops too. Here we are at the Philistine city of Gath on the edge of the coastal plain, looking out towards the rest of the Shephela and the Judean hills in the distance. In the Old Testament, before the exile, the coastal plain was the home of the Philistines. Gath, Ekron, Ashdod, Ashkelon, and Gaza, their five cities. As we move to the plain of Jezreel, we'll look at a number of places. Firstly, Mount Tabor, where Deborah and Barak fought their battle against the Canaanites. Mount Carmel, where Elijah fought his battle against the prophets of Baal, and Hatzor, the greatest city in the north, which dominates the Hula Valley. By contrast, the area surrounding the plain of Jezreel, Nazareth and the like, is drier, though the plain is just as rich with fields and vineyards and all kinds of agricultural produce. Over across the other side is Megiddo that we'll visit in a later part of this uh, series. Mount Carmel sticks out like a headland into the Mediterranean Sea and as a result it catches much of the rain and is renowned in the Bible as fertile country full of lush growth. Now we're flying over Tel Hatzor, the largest city in the north of the land. Hatzor was the main city of the Hula Valley and the Hula Valley provided fertility and agriculture for this northern region. Tel Hatzor, Tel means a flat-top mound that marks an ancient city. Tel Hatzor is huge, as you can see in this uh, shot from the helicopter, covering an enormous area, only a small part of which has been excavated. It mainly dates to the Bronze Age, the Canaanite period. The plains are vital to Israel's life, and always have been and therefore they have always been the scene of battles from Joshua to Deborah and Barak and beyond to Harmageddon.